Welcome to Economics Melody. In this tutorial, we'll learn some of the remaining functions under each in command. So basically, we will deal with ems and concat function under each in command. Let's begin. So this is the stata interface. In order to activate our do file, we need to press here, or we can press Control 9. It's a shortcut key with this main stata interface active. In order to activate our data editor again with this main stata interface active, press Control 8. So let me drag this okay let's begin let's take the observations only two real observations this time so let's just uh, join a variable called a join a equals to oh, let us keep some leading species so do do it now okay one two three okay three trailing species now let us see what does it look like control d so this is a paragraph command so let me write the syntax within this command so egen some variable egen let's say b equals to our ems function and it should be provided with the string variable not any variable only a string variable and the options are so what is the punctuation so this is this will play a main role right in punctuation p cares what characters we're going to provide and stream and then after either head or tail or last and here are three leading spaces these are three leading spaces also it has three trailing spaces so in order to remove this, you generate a variable called gen b equals to write a stream a so that will work and then let's drop a due to our space limitation okay let us write e gen we dropped a and let us rename b as a okay that will be easy for us let us write e gen b equals to ends of the value a based on the value a and the punctuation we are going to supply by default it is a space so let's try with this space and then no need to trim because we have already trimmed it and then you just write what do you want head so how does this work so this is the punctuation character it's anything that precedes the first punctuation character that is termed as head so in this when we after trimming it you see this is the first this is the punctuation character in between do and it so anything that precedes this first space so do our results should be do let us see so this is what we get now let us again write replace b let us try whether this works or not is equals to a and same punct punctuation this time again is space and then we write what is tail so if do is the head then anything following the head is tail okay so replace does not work this is only an agent function we tried it so that didn't happen let us drop b and again let us otherwise we can work on c with a new variable called c that that should not disturb us okay so let us write this will be clear e gen c will be tail and e gen d should be equal to let's write last and you'll understand the difference so anything that precedes the first punctuation character is head anything following the head is called as tail anything that follows the last punctuation character is called as last so based on this our head should be do and the anything that follows first is space except head is called as tail so do it now okay and the last the last space in this sentence is in between now and okay so the last is okay so let's try if what happens if we supply some other punctuation let's say this mark question mark 
do we have this in our sentence no we don't have any no it searches this command this punctuation sign t and it does not find anything that resembles this punctuation sign that everything is displayed as head so it's the same is the case with last and uh, it does not display anything over here so now let us move to another EGN function called concat so for that we need to just drop the variable a b c d so if we write drop a we can drop variable a individually or had we written a b c d entire variables would have been dropped okay but there is another easy way to drop all the variables if you write drop an asterisk you say everything will be dropped now age our data there is no data container now we need to set our operations data container is ready now let us generate a variable called a and the variable if we write anything between this quote then that will be stata will read it as an string variable string variable so it's for example if you write 50 you see the red or brown this color so that is that indicates it's a string variable in this data so if you write again j and b equals to 50 and you see the difference let me drop this we don't need this let me run run this once again okay. now we need a variable generate a equals to let's write e and then b equals to he needs and let us write then c equals to first of all let us write this 50 in the string now let us use our function before using it let me write what is its syntax so we need to write is an any value d equals to concat and the, the var list we need to supply the var list followed by the punctuation that we want to concat it with right so let's say yeah it is because punctuation characters of your choice and then we can concat both a string and numerical variables but the result is a string variable uh, so for that what is the format of the string numerical variable that you want to be displayed after concatenation so it's like percentage of t then after following this we have sometimes the numerical variable is coded right so that number represents a code and with its level so if you want to display the level okay decode then after you need to what should be the maximum length of that decode so we'll understand this by the help of the example okay let's let's now write our concat so let us d is equals to concat and then let us write variables a b c variables what should be the punctuation characters so this punctuation characters will be displayed so let us see the one is space between them and let us see what happens you see there is a space and if you write underscore between them you see you see the difference if you write a question mark so this is the character so let us leave so all the three variables abc they are the string variable so the concatenation is also a string variable now let us try a very special case let us drop c and d and let us uh, write generate c is a numerical variable called 50 itself okay and you see what happens now let's copy and paste this and let us run this once again you see this it seems like 50 being the variable c 50 being you know numerical or string didn't matter at all because the result is same but there is a difference let us change this right let us change the format so the format of the numerical variable c let us write it as t for time series data and d for is the date normal date even in a second okay 
here one second you see now he needs so it's data reads 50 is 20 february 1960 so 1960 is the base here absolutely zero 1960 12 that's zero in this data okay so that's the base here so this is the case now let us use another function we have not coded it now let's let's say that 50 is representing a code for a certain level right so let us define define level define let us define a label called c of that if there is 50 actually we are talking uh read that table represents read okay it's not 50 that label is representing something called read so now let us a label values for c c okay you see this blue color we see a read so and just beneath it there is 50. now again let us run this once again what happens do we expect any change do we expect any change you see there is no change so we need to drop d and then you see there is no change again drop d and run this level there is no change so it seems like the level has not changed a lot but this data is taking the numerical value from it right 50 and it's changing its format to this so if you want this label to appear then you need to add so let me give a line break and then this does not affect our code so this is a part of let, let me write decode so the code will not be displayed rather this not this label will be displayed you see he needs a read so another option was max length so what does this do so this label in some cases it may be very long let's say number of families in a household so that will be very long if you write number of families in the household it means just to write number of families in the household you see what will happen what will happen to our observation he needs because we have edited here one so let me increase this okay it's because for our practice so if i write two so day it's number of household and if I, let's say if i write six so what will be the maximum of that number of if i write nine what happens number of family members so one two space three four five six seven eight nine so this is how it works let's write 15 so t and see what happens the number of families so if we don't want a space and we want the variables to be concatenated with a uh, let's say a strict sign then the result is this Thank you very much for your time. Economics Melody.